Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I remember a time when uh, the web was very simple. I remember a time when we didn't even have the web. We had the Waze. We had Gopher, Archie. Uh, it was a long time ago. Uh, we didn't really have to worry about much even when we did have the web. HTML was rather simple in the beginning, and it's, it's grown increasingly complex uh, over the years. But, uh, you know, we wanted to highlight five web technologies that we believe are absolutely essential. If you are a web developer or are about to become or want to become a web developer today, five things you might want to be chasing. By the way, Flash is not one of them. Sorry, hate to burst your bubble there. Not to say that Flash developers are crazy, but to uh, be clinging on to a, a dying platform like that, well, you know, even Adobe knows the writings on the wall, and that's why they're embracing these specific technologies that have nothing to do with Flash. I'm wagging my finger. I'm doing my best. This burns calories, too, by the way. It's a good thing to do. Uh, do you want to know more about HTML5? Uh, you, you might. Uh, in fact, your browser supports HTML5, some parts of the HTML5 spec. Uh, but to know if your current browser uh, is doing well in terms of supporting HTML5, head over to a website. Uh, now, this wasn't linked in the article, but I want to let you know. Uh, HTML5test.com. And it will score your browser compared to other browsers whether they're you know, dev builds, beta builds, final builds, so you can see how your web browser stacks up. HTML5test.com. This is the first web technology we were wanting to tell you you need to be embracing as a web developer. Now, as a user, you're probably using HTML5 developed applications, and you had no idea you were even doing it. So uh, if you go to LockerGnome.com, you can click the link in the article. I'm going to go ahead and plus one tweet and like this while I'm there. You will see this list of technologies as well as reasons why you'd want to adopt these technologies as a web developer. This is, this is happening right now. This isn't just pie in the sky. This is, this is real. CSS3. Uh, you know, CSS is certainly uh, the better way of uh, formatting a document a web document, a web page, as it renders in the web browser, abstracting design and layout from the actual data on the page itself. And CSS3 is a great gateway for it. But does your browser support CSS3? Which web browsers support which parts of CSS3? Check out HTML5test.com. Uh, Ajax. Now, if you didn't know, uh, Microsoft created Ajax. And it was the, the buzzword for, God, years and years and years. Uh, it, with Web 2.0. Well, it's still very important. Asynchronous JavaScript. Oh. <laughs> Asynchronous JavaScript execution. Uh, uh, oh, man. Uh, I'm doing this from memory. I'm not a developer, okay? I just know what is kind of... Hang on. I, I'm, I'm crazy. It's asynchronous. <laughs> asynchronous JavaScript. And is it NXML? XML, extensible markup language. God, I'm getting caught up in all these acronyms. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's asynchronous JavaScript and XML. I'm going to stick with that. That is my final answer. Survey says... I don't know if there's going to be a ding or a buzz, but I'm pretty sure I'm right there. So, uh, you know, Ajax basically allows a web page, if used properly, to refresh in line uh, without having to hit the refresh button. So, for instance, if you go over to Funicode... Dot com. This is a website that uh, I haven't really talked about in, in quite a while. Uh, it's still running, uh, and this is a way to uh, tr transmogrify a name. So if I typed in Diana, uh, in line, the, this, this, these bits of text would render, uh, and then you can copy uh, the, the text out. Uh, this is using Ajax, uh, using uh, JavaScript and XML to render all this data. See, there's upside-down text. It's kind of fun stuff. Uh, Funicode.com. So if you want an example of Ajax in, in real life, uh, that would be the place I would, I would send you to. Plus, it's kind of fun. Uh, then, of course, uh, we moved on down the list in terms of uh, what else you might want to be paying attention to. Uh, Canvas. Uh, now, this is uh, part of, I would say, more... Mm, if you're developing video games in the browser, you want to pay attention to Canvas and how it can benefit you. Uh, WebGL kind of comes in tow if you have uh, any graphic-intensive app 
for the lack of a better word, web page. Uh, WebGL is something that uh, is really, I think, in time going to supplant everything that we, to this point, have used Flash to do uh, more than any of the other uh, technologies. That's my perspective. Uh, and, you know, I know many people would disagree, and you're fine to disagree if you want. I I'm sure you may have another web technology that you think beats all of those. But in general, the web is for everything uh, that can access the web, not just one platform. So if, if we're talking about a proprietary software or extensions, uh, you know, that's, that's not, that's not uh, the name of the game in terms of interoperability. And hopefully the web will stay open and, and continue to be as accessible. And we have to develop these new technologies, and it's a little difficult in the beginning um, when you're working with, uh, you know, rather new formats that aren't, you know, fully available on a variety of platforms. But, you know, you got to start somewhere. Uh, so... Uh, there's our laundry list, as well as some uh, other pointers and suggestions on where you could learn more about any one of those particular elements of the web of tomorrow, even though we're living in the web of today. Uh, I'm just looking at the YouTube uh, live feed, and uh, Pinking5555 says, my test score is 41. Dude, what are you using, IE2? Yikes. Uh, one radical dude says, just did the HTML5 test on three browsers. Firefox and Chrome got well over 300 out of 475. IE9 just got around 140. Let me just go ahead and try the HTML5 test on my web browser. 377. That's not bad. I'm running a Chrome on this computer. Chrome dev build 18.0.1017.2.0. Well, no, no dot at the end, but it's a dev build. So it's doing pretty well there. Well over 300 at this, at this point in time. So check that out. Uh, I'd be curious to know uh, if that changes which web browser you happen to be using just based on the fact that you know that another web browser might be working better in terms of HTML5 adoption and, uh, and, uh, and development uh, than the web browser you might be uh, using. So there you go. Some helpful resources for you. Ch take a look at the article on LockerGnome.com. We don't have a lot of HTML5 technologies on our blog because... The blog really doesn't need a lot of newer web technologies. It works well today, and it's compatible with just about any web browser you'd throw at it.